So over 4th of July weekend, I had a friend that was over and he had a couple of drinks in him. So he was a little bit under the influence, but he's a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. And he came in my room. He was saying, man, JT, how about them Buccaneers, man? We looking pretty good this year. And I was like, you know, you guys always look pretty good. And he was like, man, we got this new running back out of what school he's from, JT. He could have really said his name. He was like, Richard, Richard. And I was like, Richard White. He was like, yeah, yeah, him out of Arizona State. I was like, yeah, I like Richard White. And it got me to thinking. Because I kind of almost forgot about Rashad White because he was one of my favorite running back prospects coming out of this past year's NFL draft. I think that Rashad White is going to be an absolute monster for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was drafted in the third round out of Arizona State. He's six foot. Some websites have him listed at 6'2", but most websites have him listed at six foot, 214 pounds. Listen, he has great vision good patience he allows blocks to develop the only cons that people have about Rashad White is the fact that he runs a little bit high because he's pretty long and lengthy for a running back so with him running high he's prone to taking a lot of big hits it also doesn't really make him all that great when it comes to being able to run in between the tackles and despite him running a 4-4-8 when you look at his film, he doesn't really look like a burner, but he does have really good hands. He was one of the best running backs in the Pac-12 last season and 2021. He accounted for 30% of Arizona State's total offense last season. And I think with him being a great pass catcher out of the backfield, I think that he's going to have a... Pretty significant role in the passing game right away for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this season because all of us know that Tom Brady loves throwing those check downs to his running backs. You remember when he had James Wright back during his playing days with the New England Patriots? James Wright made a living playing with Tom Brady. So with a running back that has Rashad White's kind of skill set, I think that if you're Brian Leftwich in Tampa Bay, I don't see how you could keep Rashad White off the field. Now, I understand that Leonard Fournette is still there. Even though Ronald Jones left, Leonard Fournette kind of phased out Ronald Jones with how good he was. And Leonard Fournette is still going to be the primary running back. However, Rashad White is a better pass catcher than Leonard Fournette. He's also better when it comes to running, running routes from the running back position. And you can also line him out, out wide also. And last season... Rashad White for Arizona State had 43 receptions, 456 receiving yards, and averaged 10.6 yards per reception. He also averaged 462 yards after the catch during his time at Arizona State. So this is somebody who is really good once he gets the ball in his hands. And once he gets into the open field, he's really hard for defensive backs such as cornerbacks and safeties to bring down. So I think that Rashad White has a lot of potential with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he had a really good mini camp. A lot of Buccaneers reporters were raving about him. Now, the question is, can he end up beating out Keyshawn Vaughn for that second running back spot in training camp? I think that he will simply for the fact that he's currently the best pass catcher that the Buccaneers have on their roster. Now, you do have Giovanni Bernard, but he's in his 30s. He's pretty much on the down climb for running back. So when you look at Rashad White, he has a lot of potential. Now, he may not be a game breaker when it comes to elite speed and stuff like that, but he's really shifty, pretty agile for his size. I think that this season, he should have a little bit of a role in this offense. I think that he is going to be a little bit involved when it comes to the passing game. You're probably not going to leave him in when it comes to third down situations because his pass blocking does need to improve but a lot of the issues with Rashad White I think can easily be coached up so for Tampa Bay I think that you got a stud and Rashad White I think that he can be a phenomenal complimentary piece to Leonard Fournette and also I think that he can end up having some games where he ends up having a significant amount of carries because as we already know Leonard Fournette 
is never really able to stay healthy throughout the whole entire regular season he always has a couple of weeks that he ends up getting banged up and during those weeks when Leonard Fournette gets banged up I think we could see Rashad White step in and have pretty big games and he's playing behind pretty much the best off the line in the NFL when it comes to pass blocking and running blocking so maybe I'm a little bit biased because I love Rashad White I was a big fan of his game when he was playing for Arizona State, I watched a lot of Pac-12 football simply for the fact that they play so late in the night, and I'm a football nerd. I just love watching football. I always came away super impressed with Rashad White. This is somebody who is really good when he gets to the second level, and even though you do have concerns about how good he can be in between the tackles, you are getting somebody who's really good when it comes to running outside the tackle. So if you're Tampa Bay and you're Brian Leftwich and you want to implement some zone runs into your offense, that can bring a different dimension to your offense as well. So I think with Rashad White, man, even if he doesn't get a lot of carries this season for the Buccaneers, I think that he's going to get a lot of work in the passing game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And even though the Buccaneers are pretty stacked at wide receiver with Chris Godwin, when Mike Evans and company I still think that with Tom Brady he always puts a lot of emphasis on getting the football to his running backs because it's pretty much easy yards all you need is for your running back to run what a three yard swing you get the ball out to him fast and that's an easy five six yard pickup so for Tom Brady I think that he's absolutely going to love Rashad White and I am excited to see what Rashad White does for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this season I'm going to be picking him up on all of my fantasy football teams I don't play dynasty football when it comes to fantasy. I don't know how to get into dynasty. Somebody hopefully can point me in the right direction in the comment section. But I love Rashad White's game, man. Great size. He's a patient runner. And also, when he gets into the open field, he's really hard to bring down with that size. I'm a big fan of Rashad White's game. I could definitely see him having a... A little bit of a role carved out for him in this offense. It all really comes down to can he beat out Keyshawn Vaughn for that RB2 spot behind Leonard Fournette. So let me know how you guys feel about Rashad White down in the comment section down below. How good do you guys feel he can be for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? He has a lot of potential. And if he ends up reaching that potential, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers could have one of the best running backs in the NFL within the next three to four years, depending on how he develops and how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers continue to use him. But I appreciate you guys for listening to this episode of the JT Sports Podcast. Make sure that you check out the JT Sports Podcast, available on all podcasting platforms, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts from, the JT Sports Podcast is available.